Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Bringing this story of a 36 year old woman from Chicago who was chained in a vacant building for five days or more, being awed and beaten by a man they believe to be in his 60s and is still at large. So if you're from the Chicago area, please be aware. Chicago police are investigating after a woman says she was abducted, raped, and chained up inside a vacant Southside house for days. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jackie Bang. And I'm Tamon Bradley. Thanks for joining us. That she was held captive inside of an abandoned West Pullman home for four to five days. She was finally. Search is all for suspects after a woman was found chained up in an abandoned home in West Pullman. Joni has the latest for us. If a man walking in the community had not taken action, this woman could have been added to a growing list of missing women in Chicago. But she is alive and recovering. However, her captor is still out there. Antoine Dobine was walking at 119th and Eggleston when he heard a woman in distress. He started a Facebook Live and called police. They went into the vacant house and freed a 36-year-old woman who was handcuffed and chained reportedly for four or five days. They took trying to bring attention to missing black and brown women cases in Chicago. I commend him. He is a hero in the community because if he wouldn't have been there and she's been there four or five days, she, she was blessed that I'm going to call the Lone Ranger right now because he took action. Mm -hmm. He called the police. He did everything we, we asked the community to do. The woman was treated at Little Company of Mary Hospital. Her captor was seen walking away. Right now, police have no one in custody. Man, this is sick and crazy. Thank goodness for Antoine, who was actually paying attention and wasn't scared to, to go inside the building and help her. Because look around up and down that block. The homes look and seem pretty close together. So you mean to tell me no one heard her screaming for, for five days? Or did they just choose to pretend not to hear and mind their business? I'm just saying. But again, thank goodness fans on the Good Samaritan. I just wanted to come and bring awareness to the story in hopes to catch this man too. He needs to be off the streets fast. With that being said, guys... Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you'll see when I drop new videos. And guys, follow me on all my platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, all at Sister Girl Talk TV. Mm -hmm.